Hey everybody, I hope all is well. It is an awesome day. I wanna to touch base with you guys. I wanna to, to make sure that you guys are, are getting all the help you could possibly get with us. Um, clothing is an extremely important thing when it comes to making or breaking a picture. So we wanna make sure your clothing is absolutely perfect today. My name is Matt King. I am the owner and the photographer here at Matt King Photography. And what I wanna do is just simply uh, walk you through this website of how to dress and uh, our clothing got here and make sure that it is perfect. I'm gonna save you all the pleasure of actually having a look at me and that's why I'm actually doing a screenshot here of this particular website so I can actually walk you through every bit of this. We are about perfection in our studio. Everything that we do, we want it to be perfect. We want the portrait art that's hanging behind your couch or over your fireplace, down the hallway or whatnot. We want it to be absolute 100% perfect. Clothing is one of those things that can, again, can make or break a picture. So we wanna make sure that what we're doing as far as clothing works really, really well. And so today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you all some do's and some don'ts, some yays and some nays here. And so that's what I'm fixing to walk y'all through. So if you're on this page with me, y'all can, can follow along if you need to. But if you guys scroll down, you guys are gonna look right here where you see all these X's and stuff like that. That is, those are no's. We're gonna avoid certain things. These things are just uh, the safest bet on, on what to do. We can deviate outside of some of these yays and some nays, but this is the safest way to go. And so a couple things you wanna keep in mind. Avoid pattern. You're gonna avoid polka dots and stripes and pinstripes and stuff like that. Avoid logo and advertising on your shirt. Don't put Big Bird on your kid's shirt, for example. Don't put Barney on your kid's shirt, anything like that. Pictures of a character shirts, those are bad. What we want is when something's hanging on the wall behind your couch, we want it to represent your family. We don't want the first thing for that person to look at when they're looking at your photograph. We don't want them to see you know, Big Bird on your kid's t-shirt. We want them to actually see your family's face. That's really important that the whole focus of your portrait art is actually on the face of your family. And so we want to point every bit of focus to you guys and about who you guys are and about what you guys are about. So avoid those things. Avoid those character t-shirts. Avoid logos. Avoid advertising. Avoid a lot of pattern on your clothes. The least amount of pattern on your clothes, the better. Um, you're going to be good to go. Sometimes we can get away with plaid in the fall. Sometimes we like to wear plaid around here. That is okay. Sometimes we can get by with that. But if you're going to do that, make sure that you ask us. Make sure that you follow up with us first. Um, by the way, anytime you guys have questions on any of our clothing at any time, you can shoot us pictures via text message and we will walk you through. We will let you know if things need to be changed. Other things that you need to avoid um, are certain colors. There are certain colors that are no-nos. There are certain colors that you do not need to do. Neon colors are a major color that you do not need to do. No neon green or no lime green, no hot pink. Um, as much as your husband wants to wear hot pink, he cannot wear hot pink that day. So anything that's really bright like that, anything that's a highlighter color is bad. So anything that's, that's, that's you know, highlighter green or, or highlighter yellow, that type of stuff is a, is a bad color. Anything that would glow under a black light is bad. Um, orange, yellow. We can get by with some of those colors sometimes if it's fall. For example, a burnt yellow or a burnt orange would be okay but a bright yellow or bright orange would be bad. Um, that's not something that you wanna do. Also, some other colors that are, that are no-nos that you don't wanna do would be all white, for example. Don't put your whole family in all white and blue jeans. That doesn't look good anymore. And don't put your whole family in all black and blue jeans. That doesn't look good anymore. That doesn't represent today's style and also doesn't look good as far as coloring, and so it doesn't work very well. Minimal makeup, ladies. Make sure that your makeup is minimal. Make sure that you don't put a whole bunch of makeup on uh, for pictures. We can enhance stuff in Photoshop if we need to. Make sure that you don't physically put it on a lot. A little bit of makeup is okay. Just make sure you don't overdo it, especially when it comes to the eyes. We want to avoid black eyeliner and stuff like that that's really caked on around the eye. What that's going to do is it's not going to allow my lights to get into your eyes. We need the sunlight and we need my flashes when they go off to hit the eyeball. And what that's gonna do is really enhance the colors of your eye. If you have light blue eyes or, or you know green eyes or brown eyes or whatever, it's really gonna bring out those colors when our lights hit those eyes. And when we have black around the eyes and, it's, and there's a lot of black, then it doesn't allow the light to get to the eye well. So a, a little bit is okay, but just you know, don't do a lot of black around the eye. Don't cake on the, the makeup too much. We can enhance stuff if we need to do any of that kind of stuff and that would be perfectly fine. Um, high contrasting colors. In other words, you don't want half your family in black and half your family in white. That would be a high contrasting color that compete against each other, those two colors. You don't want to do that. 
You want your family coordinated. You want everybody in the same color scheme. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. Let's scroll down here on the page and let's look at some yays and some stuff that, that you can do. So that's what's really going to help you guys. Muted tones, earth tones, uh, pastel color light blue, charcoal gray. Those are going to be good colors. Um, there's going to be color cards down here at the bottom, and those are going to help you with your colors. Anything that's on these color cards would be fine as far as a color to, to go with as far as your main color. And so keep it casual. We are a casual photographer. We're not a very suit and tie type photographer. So casual. Think church casual when you get dressed. Button-ups are good. Um, you know, roll the sleeves up on the guys. Make sure you guys look good. Layers, layering for you later is a really good thing. Light jackets, necklaces, bracelets. Um, anything that will insinuate the hands, anything that will insinuate the neck is a good thing. A light jacket, a scarf for the, you know, if it's, if it's in the fall or something like that, that would be okay. Light jackets and stuff like that are okay with the guys. A little bit of layering. Of course, you wouldn't go as much probably with the guys as you would with the ladies, but you can do some layering as well. Any kind of layering is a good thing. And that'll help you guys make sure that your family is coordinated. We're going to walk you through that. That's extremely important. I'm going to come back to that, but make sure that you guys are completely coordinated as far as what you're doing. Uh, make sure that you guys start early. Once you get your clothes together, once you get everything together, what you're going to do is you're going to get them all ironed, get them all hung up. You're going to put them in the back of your closet. You're going to tell your family. You're going to tell your husband. You're going to tell your kids, don't touch these clothes. These are picture day clothes. That way, it's a grab-and-go system. All you got to do is grab it out of the closet, and you're good to go that day. Um, and so start early. Your session will be here before you know it. Go ahead and start and getting your clothes together now. Um, again, we're going to walk you through each and every bit of that. You're going to shoot us text messages with pictures of the clothes. We're going to tell you, hey, that looks good, or hey, let's change this or change that. We're going to make those changes, but once those changes are made, once everything is perfect, you need to make sure that you get them ironed. You need to make sure you get them hung up and put them in the back of your closet. That way they're ready to go that day for clothes, for, for your portrait session with us. Um, next, you're going to see some of this. Is, these are some do's and some don'ts. It's just reiterating some of this. Um, avoid those logos. Avoid those advertising. Make sure to keep it simple. Make sure it's about you guys. Make sure it's about your personality. Make sure it's about who y'all are. We want it to represent you guys. You guys are not suit and tie type people. You don't need to be. You don't need to be dressed up in suit and ties and dresses. Make sure it's casual. Make sure it's about you guys. If you guys are more country folk, that's okay. Go ahead and dress that way. Make it about you guys. We want to make sure what we're doing represents who you guys are. We want to make sure that what is hanging on the wall behind your couch or over the fireplace or down the hallway. We want to make sure that that portrait art represents who you guys are as far as your personality. Clothing goes a long ways in that. So make sure that what you're putting yourself in absolutely is who you guys are and so if we scroll on down we're going to start seeing color cards and these things are going to help you color coordinate the clothing you're going to go on down if you guys go towards the bottom you're going to start seeing a bunch of different outfits together and these are just to give you examples just to help your eyes and help your mind figure some things out and again we can walk you through any of this via text message if you need help um, if you guys need even more help down at the very bottom page you're going to see where it says for examples and clothing tips visit our pinterest page if you click the word pinterest page it'll actually take you over to our pinterest page which has a lot more examples on there um, but what I want to do, last bit, I want to touch uh, the idea of coordinating families. And so if you guys don't have a family and you're just doing an individual child, you don't have to worry about coordinating with the group, obviously. But if you have any kind of group shot and we're doing any kind of groups, you need to make sure that that group is coordinated as far as clothing. So super simple. You're going to come through here and you're going to pick out a color card that fits your family, that, that you guys like. So just scroll through here and y'all look for a color card that fits y'all and that represents you guys well. And we're just going to use our imagination for a minute, and we're just going to go through some of this, and I'm going to help you uh, figure this out because this is a little bit tricky. And so let's use our imagination for a minute. Let's just hypothetically say that you guys, it's fall time, and you guys choose this particular card right here, the ones with the trees, okay? Let's say that, uh, you know, we, we look at this card, and in this card there are uh, five different colors. Each one of these colors complement each other really well. So you could pick any one of those five colors as what we call our base color, doesn't matter which one you pick. Let's say hypothetically, though, you pick that middle color right there, that, that light grayish, bluish tone as your as what we call our base color. What you're going to do is that's going to be the shirt that's touching the body of the person. So put everybody in that color shirt. Um, then what you're going to do on top of that is you're going to layer on top of that particular shirt. Jackets, and things like that, the scarves, the jackets, the necklace, all that kind of stuff, that layering, it's going to be these other colors that are on this color card do not deviate outside of this color card 
If you're going to pick that particular color card, you stay on that color card. Don't pick some from this color card and then go up in here and pick some from this color card and go get some from this color card. Don't do that. Pick it all from the same color card. So if you want this color card, use those colors on that color card. You can pick whatever color card that you want. If you're more of a blue, you can come up here and do this. Again, let's do it with uh, <clears throat> let's do it with this one right here. Let's say this is your favorite color card, and in this color card we have what do we have four or five different colors here. And let's say you guys pick this light color brown right here as your primary color, as your base color. You're gonna pick that as your shirt that it goes on the body, the, the shirt that is physically touching the body, that's gonna be that color of everybody in your group. And then the other colors on top of that card are gonna be the, the layering and the stuff that helps bring out the personality of each and individual person in that group. And so that's where you're getting the personality from each individual person. It's the other colors that are on the layers or the scarves, necklaces, bracelets, all that stuff that's layering on top of that base color. That's where it's going to help bring out the personality of the individual person in that group. But as far as the group and bringing that whole group together, we want your base color all to be the same. So if you're going to pick this color right here as your base color, you need to make sure that the, that, that is the base shirt that's sitting on the body. Um, blue jeans or khakis, either one. Don't go both at the same time. Pick either or. If you're more of a blue jean person, go blue jeans. If you're more of a khaki person, go khakis. Um, yeah, put blue jeans on, for example, if that's who you guys are. And then moms, all you got to do is worry about the top half of that part. If you guys got blue jeans on everybody, let everybody pick out your favorite pair of blue jeans. Um, even if those are the ripped blue jeans that your teenager wears that us older people don't understand why you're buying blue jeans with rips in them. You know, that's the personality and that's their style. Is, that's okay. That'll look good in pictures. Um, let everybody pick out their favorite pair of blue jeans. Even if the blue jeans are a slight bit different color, as long as they're all blue and you don't have white jeans and blue jeans, that's different. But as long as they're all blue, you're going to be perfectly fine. So let everybody pick out their favorite pair of blue jeans. you got half your work done right there. And then all you got to do is come back and you got to worry about the top halves of the clothing. And at that point, you can go back to this clothing, what we were just talking about on this coordinating and just coordinate your clothes and stuff like that. You're going to be good to go. I'm here to walk you through each and every step of the way, especially when it comes to clothing. So if you have any help, if you need any help, if you have any questions on what uh, on, on how to dress or, or what looks good and what doesn't look good, shoot me pictures via text message. We want to help you. I'm here to serve you. I want to serve you guys really well, and we do that by answering your questions. So don't be afraid to ask me questions. That is my job to take really good care of you guys. Um, again, we want things perfect. We don't do anything less than perfect in my studio. So what is hanging on your wall, we want to absolutely look perfect as possible. And so as you guys scroll through here, make sure that you guys read through all this. And again, if you have any questions, shoot me a, a text message and we'll walk you through anything. My number here is 901-359-3064.